Welcome back guys. This thing here is Samsung DeX running on the latest test one year eight build and this is the byg1 uh, yeah it's a build that i tested since yesterday by the way not bad guys you know how it goes there is a new kernel besides the new kernel update there is a new version from the one year home this is the version here and of course also a new version for the gallery app and yep there is also a new version for the camera app and by the way my phone is here and just next to me and i promise to some of you that i'm gonna do a video on dex and show you the state of dex in what we think is almost like one year eight stable but it's not guys the one year eight stable will hopefully be revealed in the next few days when Samsung officially launches the Samsung Z Fold 7 Ultra. Anyway, whatever they call it. So guys, what are the changes guys compared to the previous or recent version of DeX? So they did change the layout a bit. The first thing here we see is the recent menu. And by the way, there is something called desktop here, which is probably a hint that when you're using this on, let's say tablets, you probably are able to create multiple desktops, which is not gonna be that bad. All right, here guys, the next button, yeah, just the home button, and then we have the back button. And then guys, here in the previous version, we are able to find the search box. The search box is now here, and yeah, when you open this, it will perform as a search box. So pretty much everything from here is accessible, suggested apps, the settings topics. So let's say if I'm worried about my performance, I could just click performance and go here and do whatever I need to do. A big redesign on the app drawer, because in the previous version of Dex, this app drawer was just scattered to the whole um, display right now this is not the case and this is by the way a huge 32 inches uh, monitor at least huge in my book and then you have all the open items here of course settings this is something that i already opened i can of course close this and then here we get the standard settings so here i'm also able to take a screenshot i can regulate my volume if i want and yeah i'm able to also access all the different volume types like ringtones media all right and even go set up the media volume limit air assistant the alarm then we have here all the messages then i have my connections and then the battery and with the move of the search box to here and with the new app drawer it looks more like a desktop thing it's really crazy and even you know like when i i'm just using by the way the mouse but when i right click the mouse I can get to wallpapers and yep, let's just try to use something else. So I can just try to set up something there. I'm gonna set this on my lock and home screen. And now, yep, you see a beautiful, beautiful wallpaper. Now guys, there are some changes in that I'm gonna show you. So let's say that I want to get the CPU info. Let's just try to find where the CPU info is. It's here, CPU Z. So I can right click it and then, you know, it's gonna start dancing and I can add it to the home. And now guys, follow this, when I hold it with the left mouse button, nothing is gonna work. When I just press it once, the app will start from where I can enjoy my beautiful Qualcomm Snapdragon 8. It's probably the best mobile chip. How do we move it? So I need to engage with the right mouse button. So I just go here, right mouse button, guys. And yeah, so you can see that we have now a different grid. So I can potentially put this application everywhere on this grid. And it was a bit different before, but this is how it works right now. So what happens when I open an application, guys? I can open an application, all right? I can minimize it. I can open and I can try to resize it. And I can take it from here, put it to the left. It's gonna snap it to the left. And then let me open another one. I'm gonna open Chrome. All right, and I'm gonna try to put it on the right. Okay, so now I can snap these things to the ground. Now, some other important things that I've noticed, if you can go here, you can press this button and you're gonna maximize it. But there is something called the immersive mode, which I think is kind of cool, but let me show you. So I will now enter Play Store. I will hover here. And if I click Restore, it's gonna get back to basics. If I click here, Resize, it's gonna just put it on and strap it to the left side. If I go to immersive, boom, you know, I just have now access to my uh, uh, play store, which is, uh, I think it's good. And you can do this, of course, also on the browser. So I can just go here, I'm gonna press immersive, boom. Immersive browse experience with Mr. Ozzy Osbourne, yeah. He did a farewell tool back to the beginnings. Ah, 
guys good good aussie and black sabbath anyway off topic so what else can we do from here guys besides of course going to the up drawer and being able to open you know all your basic apps being able to just go and put them there there is something new and you can click here right and also snap it to the right or left but now guys you can send it to the art display which will actually illuminate your phone let me show you guys and it's going to put this exact display on the phone right so now when i show you guys my decks this app now is gone from Dex and if I am to open this application once more just going to get retransferred from my phone back to my Dex screen. Besides this Samsung also rearranged where you can find Dex now you have to go inside your settings to connect the devices and now under Samsung Dex yeah this is where all the good stuff is. First things first when you click the connected display you can either use the extended one which is what I'm doing right now which means you have your phone at your phone and boom full Dex environment you can also click mirrored and this mirror thing yeah okay let me show you this is gonna just give you a mirrored um, thing here i don't really like it it is slow but okay now my phone is fully mirrored and if i want to go back to the full view i have to go back again connected devices i need to click samsung decks i need to go back to connected display and now i can click to extend it and believe it or not there are some nice good stuff when you do this whole extended thing why well you're able to change the position so this is my phone right now i can put it there i can put it here on the right so you can rearrange your display and of course as i showed you you can also change the wallpaper all right, you can change the font size. This is also something important. You have screen zoom if that's your thing. All right, let me show you. I can now go and boom zoom up uh, the screen. I don't want to do this for now. And something interesting, guys, we have display resolution. So that's the standard one, right? It's full HD, no 4K. Uh, I'm not sure if this works out of the box. Maybe you're going to need some root and tamper with this. And of course, you have a lower resolution. This is the HD. But something that is new here, you have also display rotation, which you can do. All right, let me just try to do 90. Uh, okay, you can see this is Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh my God. Now I'm not able to go back uh, without using my phone, but I'm going to try to be persistent. Okay. Yeah. So you see, you are now able to rotate the screen and in general like this is what you can do with this it's it's really it mimics a full-blown operating system from here you can access you know your calendar and just you know your word your excel if you're using and of course you can try to play some games we have youtube and of course you would expect youtube to work um, exactly in the way that you want youtube to work you can try to play some videos as you can see you can play all kind of videos you can go and do also videos in immersive mode uh, let me just try to see if i am in the immersive mode and i put full screen yeah you can now absolutely watch like videos like this so it ain't that bad guys so apparently it works uh, what we are still waiting to see is how much of this they're going to still change for the stable release and how good or not good it's going to work for some tablets I wanted to test a game with you as well so let's just open minecraft i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna put the immersive model oh, i'm gonna kick play here and i really hope that i can just do this with my mouse as you can see yeah i mean you can really use your phone as a yes a console all right so this is now minecraft sadly guys i don't have any keyboard connected but if you connect the keyboard you can see it's not gonna be that bad sadly this game requires a keyboard so without a keyboard yeah it's not gonna be a great experience but the main thing is yeah it works and uh, um, for the sake of the test i'm gonna be starting another one let's start car x3 this game you cannot also play without a proper gamepad or directly on the screen but i just want to see how it's going to work and i'm going to also amplify the sound a bit all right i'm going to go here click here and go into the immersive mode so this is something good i don't think it's new so you can potentially run applications on full screen and this is pretty much it guys so a lot of new nitty-gritty things in the one ui a decks okay you have some new layouts you have some new grids they kind of rearrange the whole screen and this and that but it's still the old good decks all right but it, it really works right so <laughs> of course outputting this game on a big 32 inch monitor is not going to be the best experience but can i do here something yeah i can so honestly it's pretty playable yeah and of course it's full hd but yeah the graphics are not the best 
but hey, see here, this is my hand and this is a big 32 inch monitor. So now I'm trying to play this game with the mouse and this is absolutely the worst. You're not supposed to do it like this. But the main thing is that it really works and I really hope that you have enjoyed this One Year 8 DEX video. We now only have to see what Samsung are gonna do with the One Year 8 stable. If they're gonna introduce some new changes in DEX or it's gonna be like this. Oh my god, am I playing? Jesus Christ, I think that's... Uh, is this like multiplayer? Like, I don't think this was like a random bot. Anyway, guys, this has been it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And don't forget to check my full coverage on almost all the 1A8 internal test and internal stable test builds. Stay safe.